Hello and welcome back everybody. I'm Flatless Bird and today I'm going to be doing a quick uh, demonstration on uh, saving time on the flanking maneuver on the mod map uh, Howl's Falls. Now, um, normally to do the... well there's like a big flanking path on the right hand, the left hand side of anyway on where you are of this map. And usually it involves uh, various crawling and such. In fact, I'll demonstrate a bit of it here if I can do it now. Um, I can't actually fit through here. Let's use a grenade. So yeah, basically it uses uh, a lot of crawling. I still haven't figured out how I get past this bit exactly. Um, I've got close before, but I'm not percent sure. And it's basically, uh, it takes a very long time, and uh, obviously that's, um, time flanking could be better spent doing, um, well, killing enemies. But uh, since this is very inefficient to go that way and take ages crawling and stuff past obstacles, uh, it can ignore a large proportion of the obstacles on this route, so it'll be like grenade jumping from here. I can do it right. There we go. And as you can see, you're taking very minimal full damage. You've already taken a tiny bit of health. And that skips out um, quite a good portion of the um, route, which is back this way. I'll just give a quick example of showing how much you've skipped out. Uh, that's basically uh, leads all the way back to a chamber that, and uh, the path we were on before is basically like the front of the chamber. So consider that basically a length from the back to the front of the chamber, plus all this which we skipped out up to around here from one pretty simple grenade jump. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I haven't really seen, had a look to see if there's any uh, other uh, grenade jump shortcuts or whatever along this map, but um, I know that one, oh, I don't think there'll be any which are as uh, efficient as that one, which I showed. So now it's still a pretty long route, and uh, obviously um, your ally is going to be fighting for a long time while I don't have your support since you're like running all the way around here. But um still using the grenade jump makes it more efficient. Even if it's still not quite entirely worthwhile. There we go, go to the stairs. So just climb this a bit more easily go on the side here. Whoa, um oops, I had me do that. Um, apparently there's a glitch here, so anyone that's interested in glitches can do that as well. Uh, so that's just some jumping, getting caught in every corner. Okay, I'm just gonna crawl through here. Right, um, where are we? Uh, past halfway, I'm not gonna even. Ah, yeah, this is the end in here. Unfortunately, um, it doesn't seem the air can actually catch command posts in this map, so this flanking maneuver seems kind of irrelevant, um, other than like flanking to kill enemies. Oh, shoot. But at least you can kind of attack from, um, up here, and if you have allies, will be there. Then a bit of a crossfire on your enemies. Especially in fact, you can basically have your opponent surrounded. You can basically have your opponent surrounded on all sides of their um, on their spawn point or whatever. If you have allies um, here, over there, and around there. Um, if you want to get up here though, you can certainly jump from there. So the whole flanking maneuver is kind of uh, irrelevant unless you're flanking people who are in the hall, in which case. You just wasted like 15 minutes, um, okay, it's probably more like 10 minutes, uh, or something, 
uh, flanking while you could have been simply helping your allies through the hallway. And the amount of kills you'll get um, probably won't uh, make it worthwhile. Like, um, you might as well have been fighting with your teammates the whole time, supporting them instead of uh, doing the whole flanking maneuver in the first place. Unless you, like, I don't know, kill your whole team like three times in a row or something. But anyway, I thought that might be a helpful tip for this map, and uh, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more content. Bye!